Hello, hello, hello. Is there anybody in there? Just not if you can hear me. Is there anyone home? <laughs> oh shit, what's up guys? It's Jay. More than I have to kill, I'm back here with another Borderlands pre-sequel Easter egg. And this is probably one of the coolest Easter eggs that you can see in a game. For me, anyway, because I grew up as a big Pink Floyd fan. Because my mom was actually young when she had me. She was around like 18, 19 years old. And, you know, Pink Floyd was really big back when she was a kid. And, you know, since she was a young person with kids, she kind of gave us her love for uh, some really good music, actually. That's the one thing that my mother actually did for me and my brother is grow us up on some really awesome music like Pink Floyd. But if you come out to Triton Flats, you actually spawn inside the Easter egg, inside of the reference, whatever you guys want to call it. I like Easter egg because, you know, it's, it's not really quote-unquote hidden, but it's still there. If you don't know about the reference, then it is hidden to you, so... Anything really can be an Easter egg, if you, if you just believe. <laughs> so, once you come out to Triton Flats, all you gotta do is go outside and look out. Or you can do what I did and jump across the cavern because it looks really awesome. Come across the bridge with the prism that leads you to the Darksiders Clubhouse. This is an area of the game where there's some uh, enemies called the Darksiders, and there's a Pink Floyd album called Dark Side of the Moon and on the album cover there's light going into a prism coming out making a rainbow we got a prism up here and we have what looks like a rainbow style light show which is actually hilarious because my first time listening to Dark Side of the Moon was at a planetarium in a museum and they were having one of those crazy ass light shows I'm pretty sure that uh you guys know what I'm talking about unless that's something that usually happened in the 80s and doesn't happen anymore but we used to go watch the light shows. It was like $4. They used to make some cool fucking designs on the ceiling with the lasers and play some Pink Floyd. It was pretty fucking awesome. But I think this is absolutely amazing. Pink Floyd is probably one of the greatest bands ever. I, I remember going back in my, my buddy's basement. We used to blow some big ass blunts. <laughs> we used to put on some Pink Floyd and just jam out for a little bit. We even tried the whole uh, Dark Side of the Rainbow, which if you don't know what that is, there was a rumor back in the day that if you synced up Dark Side of the Moon with uh, watching Wizard of Oz, there are some parts that actually do sync up. And it, there, there is a little bit of coincidences, but it wasn't as like, oh my god, mind-blowing as it, as it was. But, I mean, if you... If you took a handful of mushrooms and some acid back in the day, yeah, you probably might have been like, Oh my god, that is so mind-blowing. <laughs> it's, a, it's a different culture today, isn't it? But Pink Floyd Easter egg reference inside of Borderlands pre-sequel. I mean, we're on the moon. We're on the Dark Siders area of the moon. You gotta throw it in. Yeah, gotta throw it in. So I'm gonna give it up. For uh, 2K Australia gearbox for pulling this one off, I I absolutely love it. It's it's amazing. It it touches me right in my heart, and I actually do. I have a Pink Floyd shirt somewhere laying around my house, and I, I wear it when I live stream because it's it's so comfortable. It's like literally like 15, 20 years old, and it actually says Ink Lloyd on it. <laughs> it doesn't even say Pink Floyd on it anymore. You guys know, if you have a band tee, you know what I'm talking about, because after you wash it like two or three times, the shit starts to peel off, and it looks all fucking beat up, but that's kind of the cool thing about band tees, isn't it? It's like, the, the shittier your band tee looks, the, the more, uh, I guess, people know that you're a fan, because you had your shirt for a pretty long time. So, my name is Jay, more than I have to kill, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. And if anybody's going to give me shit for opening up with Comfortably Numb, go fuck yourself. I realize it's on the wall. The wall is actually a really good fucking album, too. The movie was, uh, yeah, let's just, wow. <laughs> that was a, that was a, that was a strange, strange movies, my friend. So, like I said, my name's Jay, we're the Anthrokill, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys later.